tonight I am doing a marker test on Windsor and Newton's marker paper. This isn't their pigment marker paper, this is their regular marker paper. And the pad was sent to me here of Windsor Newton with like no instructions whatsoever. I just received a pad of Windsor Newton marker paper. So that's cool, thank you very much. Um, and I will be using my Windsor Newton markers on this marker paper. And this is sort of a supplement to the blog post I did a few, not even like a few months ago, a few weeks ago. Um, I didn't really care for the new brush markers all that much and someone commented that I wasn't using them on the correct paper and that I was over rendering so I figured I'd give it another shot on the correct marker paper so I hope this makes a difference. I already went ahead and I swatched everything. I sort of made a game plan for myself and I already laid everything out so I'm gonna go ahead and get started. So um, I've already taped the marker paper to my illustration and it's an illustration of Kara taking a nap with her pet gecko, Dusty. These are characters from my uh, All Ages Watercolor Comic 7-inch Kara. You can find out more about that by clicking this card right here. And I'm going to be doing this on a light table so I can see what I'm doing. And that might mess around with my color balance in the video. I apologize for that. I'll try to make sure I show you guys how it looks without the light table on. The light table is just to help me see what I'm doing once um, enough color has been applied that it's difficult for me to tell. And I wanna start out by coloring the wood floor in the background. And I wanna put an all over layer. Now, if I were if I were doing a mixed media or a mixed marker approach, I would go ahead and pull out a Copic Wide for this and my masking frisket, which is um, a clear uh, plastic with adhesive on the back that you can use to mask areas and I have a few videos where I use that and I really like it. I recommend it if you're looking to do washes of alcohol marker and you don't want it to affect everything on the paper. Um, but I am trying to keep my focus on these brush markers so I'm going to have to apply it a little bit differently. And I try to get as many brush markers as I possibly could for this since I do prefer them to the bullet nibs but I do have a few with the bullet nibs because they all um, the, the color families don't entirely overlap. Um, uh, Windsor and Newton has more um, more of the pro markers, more colors available in pro marker than they do in brush marker. So sometimes a color is not available in brush marker, but it is in pro. And for this review, I am pretty much using only pro or brush markers. And the brush wants to drag the paper a little bit. And I'm noticing that the ink kind of sits on top of the paper, which is fine. It's just an observation. It takes a moment to sort of soak in. And I haven't really used the Windsor Newton marker paper a whole lot. There's not, not that there's anything wrong with it specifically. I just am working my way through a massive uh, marker and uh, paper compatibility test. And uh, sometimes it just takes me a while to get to a product.
I finished coloring in the base layer on the floor. Um, with this paper, if you move slowly and smoothly, you can actually get a pretty even application. But if you're impatient, like me, it will be streaky. So um, in small areas, you should have probably no problem with streaking at all. I did have some issues where the ink sort of blobbed in the areas where it didn't belong, even though I'm being pretty careful with these. And the paper did not bleed through. I think if I push the paper and oversaturated while it's still wet, there's a good chance it'll bleed through. But if I think if you allow it to dry, though you are losing some of the blendability, you're going to really reduce your chances of bleed through. So I'm going to go over this again with my WG-5. It's a warm gray um, and sort of make this look more like a wooden floor than it already does. And I'm gonna go ahead and time lapse that because it doesn't really require a whole lot of explanation. finished rendering the floor, at least for now. And the nice thing about wood floors is if there are some inconsistencies in the pattern, it only makes it look more like wood. 